The King of the Cowboys, Roy Rogers. Brought to you by Quaker Puffed Wheat and Quaker Puffed Rice. The ready-to-serve breakfast cereals shot from guns. Quaker Puffed Wheat and Rice. Shot from guns. Nice and snappy Quaker Puffed Wheat and Rice. Makes your family breakfast happy. Transcribed from out of the West and into your home, riding the range of mystery and adventure, blazing the trail of Western story and song. Boy Willing and the writers of the Purple Sage, that teller of tall tales, Gabby Hayes, the Queen of the West, Dale Evans, and in person, the King of the Cowboys himself, Roy Rogers. Well, howdy, folks. This is Roy Rogers. Well, Buckaroos, we had a mighty busy week. We've been trying to do things for that young boy who came to stay with us at the Double R Bar Ranch. But we also tangled with some really bad cattle wrestlers. Gabby, I wish you'd tell our friends about those wrestlers. Yes, what I was going to do, Roy. Say, buckaroos, you know that young feller come to stay with us, Jack Williams. Only we call him Dusty now, because he'd rather take a whip him than wash his face. Well, Dusty ain't near as ornery as he was. I'd been sort of gentle in him, you know. With a little help from Roy, of course. Well, we call this story The Mystery of the Disappearing Trail. T'other night over by Johnny Sparrow's Double O Ranch, exciting things was in the wind. Keep her moving, Carl. Keep those cattle moving. What do you think we're doing? Well, they have to be through the pass loaded on trucks before sunup. If Mr. Sparrow finds out his cattle have been rustled, and I'm not back to work by the regular time tomorrow morning? He'll be suspicious I had something to do with it. I thought you said Sparrow wouldn't know about this wrestling. Not for two or three days. He won't. I thought you said his busted arm would keep him around the double O ranch house. It will. We can't take unnecessary chances, though. We've got to get the cattle through the pass before sunup. And the other boys can take him the rest of the way. Hey, Art! Wait a minute. Here he Here I am. Art! Right there. I can see him, too. I had to look up a couple of minutes ago. He was just sitting on his horse watching, same as he is now. Hey, it's old Leon Mills. Sparrow's sidekick. And if I know Leon, he'll head straight for the ranch house. He'll tell Sparrow what's happening. No, he won't. Keep his cattle moving. I'll take care of Leon Mills before he can head anywhere. Wake up! Get out of your bed! Rustlers are taking your cattle! Who's there? Watch me, John! Leon Mills! Rustlers are driving off your herd! They ain't fooling! They tried to kill me! My horse outran them! I, I can't lose those cattle, Leon! I'll go broke! I tell you what I'd do if I was you, John! I'd get Roy Rogers! Roy Rogers? Yeah! He's the only man in the country who's a match for any outlaws that ever lived! You stay here! I'll get him before the rustlers have too much of a start! Roy Rogers will be here in no time! He'll fix them! <laughs> Bunkhouse, quick on. We're all right, Carl. Uh, if anybody on the ranch had heard about the cattle, there'd be some excitement. There's a light in the ranch house, though. And Leon Mills got away when you were chasing that him. That light's probably only Sparrow with his arm hurting, and that's good. It means Sparrow hadn't slept much tonight. He'll sleep late in the morning. The boys can take it easy when they start moving the cattle by truck. Hurt. Somebody's riding up. It's Leon Mills. And Roy Rogers is with him. Rogers and Dale Evans and Gabby Hayes. We'll have to stop them, Art. If Rogers gets on our trail... Yeah, we whacked our trick. Rogers won't be able to follow the cattle. You can't tell about Rogers. Wait a minute. I know how to stop him without getting into trouble. Duck back here. Mm. Wait till they go in the house, then we'll fix Rogers. We'll set Mr. Sparrow's mind at ease, Leon. Then we'll get after those rustlers. 
They can't have more than three or four hours start. Shucks, Leon. If you didn't need to bother Roy on a simple thing like catching rustlers, you could have come to me, private-like. I'm that champion rustler catcher of all times, you know. What's the matter there? Is the champion rustler catcher of all times tripping over his spurs? Pigeons and hot toads. Who wouldn't trip? Brand and I are laying right on the ground. Better take it in to Mr. Sparrow. Yeah, I get a broken leg. And look at the thing. It's made wrong. The blacksmith put a bar connecting the two O's. And Sparrow's ranch is just a double. Well, sure enough. Happy, we've got some rustlers to catch. Remember? They won't sit and wait for us while we argue about an old brand and iron. Your brand and iron car? Yeah. Must have dropped off my saddle. Come on. Let's take care of Rogers. The way I figure, he thinks more of Trigger than anything else in the world. Now, you're not going to mess with Trigger, Carl. That horse will pull your head off. He won't let anybody get near him unless Roger says so. We won't go near him. We're getting on our own horses, then tossing a rope around Trigger's neck and dragging him out of here. Poor boy. And then? Then Rogers gets excited. He spends the next few hours looking for Trigger, and the boys have time to drive the double O cattle out of the territory. Come on. Maybe I'd better throw my rope over Trigger's head, too. Mine will be enough. This is good. You're right behind. Clap Trigger if he walks. Hold it now. There, I got him. Let's ride. Get him. Get him. I'm free, Carl. Somebody's that Trigger, boy. I'm seeing. Hold him, Trigger. Hold him, Trigger, boy. Drop the rope, Carl. We've got to get out of here. Get on rope, but Pappy. Have a rope wrench. Yeah, and a six shooter too. Whoa, oh, pal. We'll give those vomits a taste of their own mess. All right, Trigger, let's take them. Rope the man on that pillow, Pappy. I'll take this one. Dale, you be ready in case either of us have missed. So I wish Dusty were here to see me in action. I got him, Pappy. Hold the rope tight, Trigger Boy. Look at that fella down. All right, let's take care of him. You pin-headed porcupine. Hey. Art Larson. Say, Pappy, look who we've got here. Art Larson, Mr. Sparrow's foreman. Yeah, and I met up with this gent. He's another Sparrow double O rider. His name is Carson Varner. Rogers, uh, this is all a joke. We were just playing a trick on you. Horse stealing is never a joke, Art. What do we do with them, Roy? Want me to take them into the sheriff, Roy? No, I think they've had their lesson. And we've got important things to do, Dale. You ain't letting them go. We will for now, but we may be back for them. Can't we mush our hair up a little more? Come on, we're hitting the trail. Leon said the rustlers had the cattle headed toward the pass. <laughs> the trail. The last tracks I noticed were back between those big boulders. They were heading this way, straight toward the river. Let's go back and pick up those cattle tracks again. Cat tails and thunder showers. If one thing don't delay us, another does. Dusty sure gonna be upset me running off this way and not coming back. Right over here is where we saw him. Easy, fella. If they turned off, I don't know why we didn't see it. I'll find out. Now, it would be logical for rustlers to drive cattle in the river and downstream, so we would lose the trail. What's it look like, Roy? The tracks end right here. They end? they got to lead somewhere. Yeah, well, I better get my X-ray eyes working. Whereabouts, Roy? Right here. The tracks come this far, and then they quit. It's almost as though a line was drawn. Hey, that's real odd. Now, if it was a bird we was trailing, I'd say they walked this far and then flapped their wings and flew. These are cattle, Pappy, not birds. Sure, sure, and I ain't seen any flying cattle in years. Say, doesn't that sound like a truck? The rustlers, they're hauling the cattle in trucks, Roy. There ain't no tire tracks here where the cattle disappeared. There it is. There's the truck, and look who's driving. Dusty, our Dusty. It is Dusty, Roy, and that truck belongs to Mr. Sparrow. Oh, Dusty can't be helping the rustlers. Well, well, there aren't any cattle in the truck anyway. Well, hold on here. Let's not jump at conclusions. It's only because Dusty don't know no better, Roy. He was living without outlaw before we got him and... Well, hold it now. 
Nobody, not anybody at all, is even going to suggest our dust is in with the rustling gang until he has a chance to explain for himself. Come on, let's give him a chance. I tell you, buckaroos, my heart was in my mouth when I seen Dusty in that truck. Dale felt the same way I did. But when Roy's your friend, he's your friend. I won't believe nothing bad about you till there's real proof. No, sir. Well, we was facing more excitement than we knowed about. And I'll tell you all about it just as soon as we hold our conference on a breakfast you can put on the table real quick. Quaker puffed wheat and rice. Shot from guns. Nice and snappy Quaker puffed wheat and rice. Makes your family breakfast happy. Hey, what's happening? Look at the strange-looking fellow that's just dropped in. He must be nine feet tall. I am nine feet two inches tall. Well, uh, who are you? I am the man from Mars. Gosh, what you doing here? Oh, just thought I'd look around. Say, what's that you've got? Oh, these are packages of the swellest ready-to-serve breakfast cereals you ever tasted. Quaker puffed wheat and Quaker puffed rice, to be specific. Never heard of them on Mars. That's too bad. You see, folks are wild about Quaker puffed wheat and Quaker puffed rice down here. Oh. They're so easy to serve, so refreshing. Make breakfast a real treat on a hot summer's day. Mmm, sounds good. You bet. Quaker puffed wheat and Quaker puffed rice are shot from guns. Actually exploded up to eight times normal size. That makes them light. Crisp and tender. They're shot through and through with swell nut-like flavor, too. Sounds good. Real good. Wheat or rice, shot from guns, is good for you as well. Furnishes extra food values of restored natural grain amounts of vitamin B1, niacin, and iron. That's for me. Well, must be going now. Where to? Back to Mars. Thanks for the breakfast tip. Mind my taking along those two packages... Can't wait to try them. Well, sir, folks, don't you wait to try ready-to-serve, refreshing Quaker puffed wheat or Quaker puffed rice. And remember, to get the original crisp, fresh wheat or rice shot from guns, always look for the big Quaker red and blue package. It's never sold in bags or bulk. <laughs> Rustlers was giving us a bad time. It wasn't enough that the double O foreman and writer tried to steal trigger, or that I stumbled over a branding iron and almost broke a leg, but the rustler's trail disappeared. Tracks just ended, and that's all there was to it. Then we seen a truck, and our boy Dusty was driving. We begin to think maybe Dusty was in with the rustlers. Come on, Trigger. We've got to catch that truck before it reaches the road. Let me call to Dusty, son. He can't hear you over the truck noise, Gabby. Use those X-ray eyes of yours, Pappy. There's two men in the back of that truck. Hey, I didn't see them laying behind them big rolls of canvas. Dale, ride around to the front and signal Dusty to stop. Gabby and I will accommodate those two armors. We'll go to the rear of the truck and find out why they've got their guns drawn. <laughs> Right with you, son. I don't reckon you will. Get my old guy, Buck. I'll need help with Roger. I ain't as old as your friend thinks, Buck. You'll need plenty of help before you're finished, Buck. Come on. I can't handle Roger alone. You can't handle anybody. Here, Pappy. Let me give you a help. Stand back, boy. Stand back. Here's the pile driver that'll show her. Good work, Pappy. Oh, shucks. I've been dangling him since the first time I connected. You get around there fast, Dusty. You've got a lot to explain. I wasn't doing anything wrong. Are you all right, Roy? Fine. Dusty, when Leon came for us, you were still in bed. Well, you went out, and I thought maybe you'd run into some excitement, and I got a horse and followed. He just wanted to help us, didn't he? Let him think up his own excuses, Gabby. What were you doing in this truck, Dusty? Well, I was close to you when you were looking for cattle tracks. 
I was afraid you'd see me, so I hopped in the truck. Just decided to take a ride. Ain't that all, Dusty? He'll do his own explaining, Gabby. No, sir. A fellow I knew from a ranch back home, he owned the Spectacle Brand Ranch, came up and offered me a dollar if I'd drive the truck to the double O. The Spectacle Brand Ranch, eh? I never heard of it. Did you, Roy? Yeah. It's up north quite a ways. The Spectacle Brand looks like eyeglasses. Something like it anyway. Two O's with a bar connecting them at the top. Hey, Roy, that Brandon Iron I tripped over. Up by Mr. Sparrow's house, it was, uh... Brandon Iron and the canvas wagon covers and the truck sort of tell where to look for Mr. Sparrow's cattle. Now, wait, nobody... Don't try to get up, you vomit, unless you want me to pin you to the ground. Dusty, get your horse and ride for home. All right, Roy. Pappy, let's tie these two armbers and leave them here for a while. I'll leave them till they starve. And Dale... While we're doing that, will you see if you can get our horses in the truck? Sure, Roy. We three are heading for the Spectacle Ranch, with you driving. So Gabby and I will be free to shoot in case we meet cattle rustlers on the way. Roy, look at those trucks up ahead. Yeah. Three trucks loaded with cattle. But look, coming at us from this side. Four, four riders. Yeah, and they're shooting. Two of them are the ones we caught stealing trigger. Mr. Sparrow's foreman, Art Larson, and that rider they call Carr. What will I do, Roy? Keep going? Don't even slow down. Happy, you and I better climb out and get in back of the truck. Yeah, we make an awful good target up there. Yeah, but Dale won't be so apt to get hurt. Oh, don't worry about me, Roy. We have to worry about you, Dale. If you get winged, there'll be a smash-up. Gabby, I'll climb up first and give you a hand. If I'm not busy shooting... <laughs> Russell cattle are getting away. I'm jumping down on him, Gabby. Don't do that. If I can land on Art Larson, I'll put him out of the way, then maybe I can get the second man. All right. You get them two. I'll try the same thing with the pair on this side. Well, you two won't bother anybody for a few minutes. Here, Pappy. Let me give you a hand. I took care of one fella, but I can't figure what's holding this man up. There. You don't have to wonder anymore, Pappy. Hey, we sure took him, didn't we? Roy, I stopped the truck. I didn't want to follow the stolen cattle alone. Hey, these men. Are two of them the men we left tied up? They sure are. And the other two are Art Larson and Barner, who probably untied them. Roy! Oh, Roy! Leon Mills. Roy, Leon's coming. Dusty with him. But I told Dusty to ride for home. We heard shooting out this way. We figured they were you in trouble. I know you told me to go home, Roy, but Leon asked me to come with him. I'll talk to you later, Dusty. Well, he's telling the truth. I did ask him to come along. Hey, what's he doing here? That fella? Well, right now, he's sort of catching his breath. Why, that's the man I was telling you about. Art Larson, the owner of the Spectacle Brand Ranch. The what? owner of the Spectacle Brand? Shucks, no... That feller's Mr. Sparrow's foreman. How about it, Art? Well, uh, the game's up, I guess. The kid's right. You're you're both in. The owner of the Spectacle brand and Mr. Sparrow's foreman. And rustling Mr. Sparrow's cattle. You took the double O cattle and changed the double O to Spectacle brand, huh? Say, Mr. Sparrow's double O was mighty easy to change over, wasn't it? Just put a bar across the top of the two O's and you got the Spectacle brand. Well, Roy... What are you going to do with me? You and your pals are heading back with Leon to the sheriff's office. While we go on ahead and round up the rest of the gang, those who have the cattle. Uh, Roy, uh, if I went with you, I might get the others to give up peaceable. Uh, would that help me any? It might. Why don't you come along, Art? We'll be ready to leave as soon as Leon starts back with your friends here. <laughs> What are you pulling up for, Art? Well, I head there. That's where we have our headquarters. All right. Now, uh, we better go single file, Roy. Me first, uh, you second. Who, who? Who took a fella? What's the matter? Everything's all right, isn't it? Sure, Art. Everything's fine. But you and I are going to change hats, shirts, and horses. We are... We... Oh, but, but that'll take a lot of time. I don't care how much time it takes. They'll get away, Roy. Will you change outfits with me, Art, or won't you? Come on. I want an answer. 
No. You were leading us into an ambush. Your men are there ready to shoot me down as soon as they recognize me or Trigger. Well, no, no. You're lying. All right. We're going in anyhow. But we'll keep you in the hot spot. And if anybody gets shot, it'll be you. Yes, sirree. Little wonder many a top-action Hollywood star goes for this breakfast. It's swell-tasting, cool, refreshing Quaker puffed wheat or Quaker puffed rice with milk or cream and fruit. Ready to serve, easy to fix, these giant premium grains of wheat or rice pack a man-sized taste wallet. Quaker puffed wheat and Quaker puffed rice are shot from guns. Yes, actually exploded up to eight times normal size to make them crisp and tender as nuts in November. Wheat or rice, shot from guns, are nourishing. They'll make an economical deluxe breakfast hit in your home these summer mornings. Quaker puffed wheat and Quaker puffed rice are never sold in bags or bulk. Always look for the big red and blue Quaker package. Get the premium quality grains of wheat or rice. Yes, get the original crisp, fresh, shot from gun cereal. That's Quaker puffed wheat and Quaker puffed rice. Buy both delicious kinds tomorrow. Quaker puffed wheat and rice Makes your family breakfast happy No, uh, no wait, Roy. Uh, don't do that to me. I, I, I'll call him out. Put a gun on him, Pappy. Sure thing, son. And use it if he tries any tricks. Nail, you take Dusty back out of the way. Come on, Dusty. Call to him, Mark. We're waiting. Right. Right, it's me. The game's up. Rogers has a gun on me. Come on out with your hands in the air. And come out right now. Okay, we give up. We're coming out. It's working, Roy. Here they come. These four and the three Leon's taken into town. Is that the whole gang, Art? That's all of them. All right, stop where you are. Want me to take your guns, Roy? Yeah. Dale, will you come here and keep Art covered while I watch the others? Stay there, Dusty. Are the cattle here, Roy? Art can tell us where they are. You had a neat rustling stunt, Art. Spreading those wagon covers on the ground for the cattle to walk over. That made their trail disappear fine. What'd you do? Walk them into the river on canvas? Yeah. Then upstream a ways and out of the river on canvas, too? So nobody'd find their trail on the other side, either? Not unless you look quite a ways from the water's edge. Too bad we saw that canvas in the truck you were sending back to the ranch. That sort of tipped your hand, Art. All right, Roy. I drawed their teeth. They ain't got any guns now. Happy, I think we'll tie their horses together before we take them into town. That'd be a good idea. Roy, can I ride into town with you? Yeah, Dusty, I wish you would. You and I ought to have a little talk. I'll rope the horses together now, son. What about, Roy? Well, it's like this. I'm not saying you didn't help us today because you did. We asked you twice to stay home, though. Instead, you came right ahead and risked getting hurt. Oh, I wasn't afraid. No, I don't suppose you were, but before a fella takes chances, he ought to do some thinking about what will happen if he gets hurt. You see, son, there's folks who like you. And if you're hurt, well, they suffer almost as much as you do yourself. And I don't, I don't think you want to do that, do you? Well, no. The rest of my writers think about such things, Dusty. They don't take chances. And it isn't just because they're not afraid. But they know taking a chance is asking for trouble for everybody. Do you understand, Dusty? Hey, Butteroos. Roy is sure learning Dusty what he needs to know. But, uh, do you want to know who learned Roy to be such a good learner for Dusty? Me. Why, I say, I spent more time learning Roy to learn than, uh, 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 but, oh, shucks. Everybody's gathered around ready to sing. Roy, Dale, Foy, Willing, and the writers of Purple Sage. We better listen to them while they got a chance. I can talk to you most any time. Here's the song. If I said a rose to you, 
For every time you made me blue The petals and you tore them all apart. You'd be tearing at the roses just the way you tore my heart. If someday you're feeling blue and you could send some roses too, well, I don't want a room full of roses. the petals and you tore them all apart you'd be tearing at the roses just the way you tore my heart if someday you're feeling blue and you could send some roses too well i don't want a That's all for now, folks. This is Roy Rogers saying to all of you, from all of us, goodbye, good luck, and may the good Lord take a liking to you. See you next week. Don't forget, smiles are made out of the sunshine and the frown from a rainy day. The Quaker Oats Company presents the Roy Rogers Show, transcribed each week at this same hour with the writers of the Purple Sage, Gabby Hayes, Dale Evans, and the king of the cowboys himself, Republic Pictures' great star in person, Roy Rogers. Buckaroos, take a tip about hot breakfasts if you want to be a star someday in sports and activities. A hot cereal that helps grow the stars of the future is Quaker Oats. Yes, there's more growth more endurance in oatmeal than any other whole grain cereal. So to be a star, make your hot cereal nourishing, bodybuilding Quaker Oats, the giant of the cereals. Remember, Quaker and Mother's Oats are the same. <laughs> Republic's latest Roy Rogers picture is Susanna Pass. And Gabby Hayes may now be seen in the Paramount release, El Paso. This is Art Ballinger speaking for the Quaker Oats Company. This is the Mutual Broadcasting System. Yeah.